Mike Pettin Coaches Show, presented by Liberty Ford, continues. Welcome back to the Mike Pettin Coaches Show, driven by Liberty Ford. Time now for our player interview, and happy to be joined by Pro Bowl Free Safety, Tashawn Gibson. Gip, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. Good. It's good to have you back. How are you feeling now a couple weeks back into the flow? Oh, I'm, I'm definitely feeling good. Back to myself. I uh, just had to get those couple games under my uh, back under my belt pretty much. Uh, you know, after coming from an ankle injury, a lot of people say ankle injuries are, are, are a lot more tedious than uh, knee injuries or hamstring injuries. Um, so, you know, just the first couple games, get my feet wet. But, man, I feel good. I, I'm, I'm back to 100% health, and I feel great. Let's start with last week's game against Cincinnati. A lot of moving parts in that secondary for uh -huh. you guys, given the injuries. Your impression of playing alongside Ibrahim Campbell. In that uh, game. I think that he he's a young guy, studious guy. He understands the game. He's a smart guy, man. He went to Northwestern, so you know the mental aspect. You know he would get, and you know for him to bring that f physical presence in which he did. You know made a couple of good tackles, and you know he he definitely stepped in Dante uh, uh, role, and you know he had big shoes to fill. But I think that he played well. What do you see as the key for this defense going forward over the final seven games to get where you guys want to be? I think that we just got to play together. We got to believe. I think that everybody got to believe in that defensive room. Um, you know, it can't matter what's happening on offense, who's that quarterback, none of the chatter outside of what's going on. Every guy got to own up and do their job. And I think that that's what we're getting away from. You know, the linebackers are worried about uh, the D linemen. The, the safeties are worried about the linebackers. The, the cornerbacks is worried about. It's just a lot of moving parts that you got to say, hey, man, you can't worry about the guy next to you. You got to trust that he's going to do his job. And you got to go out there and do your job. I don't think that um, nobody played a mistake-free game yet uh, in, in this defense. And, and and when you look at that, you can't win games when each and every each, each and every guy's on that defense is making uh, mistakes and sometimes uh, bigger mistakes that's costing big time plays. You know, in this league, especially in this division, going against uh, you know some of the best teams in the National Football League, uh, uh, you can't make mistakes like that. And I think that we've been shooting ourselves in the foot most of the time. Uh, so I think that we just got to look ourselves in the mirror and say, hey man, we we, we definitely have to do better. And this is a team that's going to test any defense given the weapons they have with Absolutely. Antonio Brown, Martavis Bryant. For sure. How do you prepare for this game knowing that it looks like Landry Jones, but they left the door ajar to quote Mike Tomlin for Ben Roethlisberger? Do you guys have to kind of prepare for both? Um, anytime, uh, given ben, uh, Big Ben history, you know, he's a competitor. He's, you know, uh, uh, a knee injury that was supposed to take six weeks. I think he only missed three games. So, you know, he's a guy that want to be out there. i seen the footage. Um, to, to say that he'll be playing this week, I mean, I'm not a doctor. I don't know, but um, <laughs> it, looks tough. It, it, it looked bad. It, <laughs> yeah. it, it, it'll say it's a long stretch. But, you know, I, I think that moving forward, um, the quarterback situation, I guess, is up in the air, according to them. So you can't pretty much try to game plan on who's the quarterback. you got to pretty much game game plan for the scheme and the players that you know are going to play. You know Antonio Brown is going to play. You know what he brings. You know uh, D'Angelo Williams who stepped in for Le'Veon Bell. You know what he's going to bring. So we got to go and game plan for the guys that we know are going to be out there in the scheme that they're going to play because no matter who the quarterback is, they got certain plays and certain schemes that they just won't get away from. What's your goal for this defense over the final seven games of the year? I think that to surpass what we did last year. I think that um, in every aspect to, to truly surpass what we did last year, I think that um, at a point last year, we had uh, a dominant defense, you know, um, and I think that we had high hopes of being uh, one of the best defenses in, in the National Football League, if not the best. And I think that we've truly slid, slid away from that and got away from that. And I feel like if we can if we can get on track like we were last year, last year, and I don't like to compare, uh, you know, teams from the past, you know, different guys, different players, but, you know, I feel like if we could just right that ship, you know, uh, play fundamentally sound defense and I think that's what we're getting away from um, the run defense you know as everybody know and can attest to it's been a problem but it's not even just the run defense we're giving up big plays on the back end and we have too good of a uh, skilled players on the back end as well as in the front seven for this defense to be in shambles like that so I think everybody needs to hit that pause and reset button and these last seven games that's a lot of football to be played sure. and um, a lot of people don't understand how how many games and what can go on in seven games so I think that the guys in that defense understand uh, what's at stake there you know looking at Two and seven, that's not ideal, but I've seen crazier things happen in the National Football League. So uh, I think that if we hit the pause and reset button and we go back to playing fundamentally sound football that we know we can play, I think that uh, we, we, we have a fighting chance. You know, until the fat lady sings, as they says, uh, we're going to hold on to all of our hope and we're going to continue to go out there and play good football. And uh, why not get the ball rolling, uh, get a W in uh, Heinz Field, man, and, and uh, get the ball rolling. Everybody certainly would like to see that. Gip, thank you so much for your time. Good luck on Sunday against Pittsburgh. I appreciate your time. You got it. And we'll be back with my final thoughts as the Browns get ready to take on the Steelers when the Mike Pettin Coaches Show, driven by Liberty Ford, returns.